All right. Do you want to start? Do you want me to start? You, you go ahead. Okay. 10 minutes? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let me think about what I want to do. That's okay. Okay, so it has been, let's just say it's a year from now. And um, I took the leap and I sold my web business. And um, there were, it was full of all sorts of fun happiness and a lot of messy middle stuff like I always expected it to be. I am um, still astounded at like the worth of my business and how I, I did it and how I was able to do that. And it's basically helped to me to take care of myself for a little while while I develop new things and it's, and it's given me time to play just such time to play time and, and some, some money to buy that RV that I wanted. I didn't know that this was the way I was going to do it. Um, you know, and maybe that's, it's not the way I'll do it, but I didn't know that this was the way I'll do it. And it just kind of has, has so fallen into place. And, um, everyone has been nice. There haven't really been very many hurt feelings. Um, you know, I, I can't work with them on their websites, but um, I offered a lot of folks, you know, some coaching, which was what I wrote into the contract with the sale that I could still reach out to them for other things besides web design, or I could still reach out to people for collaborations and, and little projects as long as I wasn't the, the web designer for, um, for them and their websites that were, you know, traded. So it worked out. It was a lot of negotiating, a lot of stuff. And I'm, I'm in ways I can't believe I did it, but in ways I'm so glad I did it because I just needed to shift and change and allow this change to happen. Oh, I am, I'm going out and I'm traveling a little more and I'm writing, I'm writing a lot and I'm reading a lot and I'm just playing and, um, I have so much more time to dedicate with the project that Rita and I are doing the cosmic landing and cosmic landing pages and helping her with the circles, getting traction. And actually Rita and I kind of like worked it out. So she was kind of an invisible client um, so that I could still sort of work with whatever with Rita. And um, so it's, um, it's been a lot of fun and I've been able to just, really do that whole I quit thing and um been helping Rita with her book about I quit so it's um getting that into fruition and so um so it's a real natural collaboration of this whole I quit stories and um so I, I'm I'm traveling I'm seeing my folks I'm seeing a lot of other folks people who can't necessarily believe what I've gone through and it's, it's really fun, um, you know, being close to 50 and doing this. I, um, I guess I never would have thought of it. And it's really cool. Um, I have a little bit of an identity loss right now. And I'm really settling into that. Like, Scott, you're kind of stripped clean. And, and there's parts of me that... Um, like always like crave the past, but I'm like really starting to settle into the future of like, you know, you may have like sold a business, but you're still an entrepreneur. You're still an idea person. You're still a creator. And now it's as the slate is clean and I have some, some money to live on for a little while. I'm just letting whatever come to me that comes to me. And, um, kind of quiet about it. I haven't really told too many people in the new place where I live, um, you know, what I'm doing, what I'm doing. So um, sometimes I just call, like I said, I just call myself a traveler or a writer or um, working on a book, working on this or projects or collaborations. I've even done a little baking and I've sold some, some fun cookies at the farmer's market locally. So people know me as the cookie guy, um, you know, and so it's just, I'm pretty thankful that I just got a chance to play and um, was been, was taken care of by the universe. And it's just really, 
been humbling and I still love mentoring other people who are starting their own businesses and just talking with them and really helping them bring out their stories and bring out who they want to be and who, and to like help them kind of clean out the crap um, that's in their minds and in their, all this baggage of this achievement that um, they really don't have to push themselves to achieve because whatever, if they have some deep desire that they can't stop talking about or thinking about, that's what's going to bring them the best results for themselves because they put their full heart into it. They call on the universe to bring their full um, potential of the universe to come help them. And I'm really showing, showing and telling people that they can't fail when that happens. And um, I'm also encouraging a lot of, a lot of men to um, in the, the groups that I've started Facebook and some other stuff. And um, really knowing that I'm kind of a force to really help, you know, men in their midlife to gain more confidence, to, to understand and love themselves more and to, um, just be a really encouraging role for them. So it's been really fun to be that. I'm kind of like starting to become a little more of a natural at that. People are seeing that happen. And um, yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen now, but I love it. And it's, um, you know, so everybody's kind of like, just sort of like wondering what Scott gonna do next. And I, I even tell them I have no idea. So I go to science fiction conventions and they ask me, are you still doing that? I'm like, no, I don't know what I'm doing right now. And I love it. And um, they wonder like when I'm going to settle, settle down. My, my, my mother worries about me. Well, what are you going to do for work? And, and I, I just sort of smile and say, I'll let you know. So, um, but it's, it's just been a fun trip and a fun journey. And um, the whole I quit trip and journey and how it started was really, just the impetus of, of me like doing a total let go and maybe I'll create something like it again. I don't know. Um, but the total let go has just been so freeing. And now I really see that I have so much possibility and like, I actually feel like this gratitude that I want to give back so badly. It's really interesting. So it's, um, that whole give back gratitude feeling is coming through and it has been coming through ever since I decided to sell the business. Um, and I knew that I couldn't fail no matter how I sold it, whether I sold it piecemeal or whether somebody hired me to be their, their employee for a while while I transitioned it or how, however it happened, I was, I let go of all that. And I just knew that the best con outcome would happen and it still exceeded what I thought would happen. So, um, and I still have all those contacts of people who still email me. They still, you know, how are you doing? Keep me on a list for telling me like your journey. And that's been great. And um, it's just been really a, a great, great wild ride. And I think I'm probably itching to fall in love, which is really kind of fun. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to find a soulmate or another soulmate right now. I've got, I think I've collected some soulmates over the years, but um it's it's there's this possibility but i know i have this wanderlust in me so it's it's um there are there are just these interesting feelings coming about when i've stripped away all of the other identity portions of myself and it's so great um and i can be fresh for the things that i'm approaching like when i read cards for people or when i um collaborate with rita when I do the cosmic landing pages, when I do a cosmic landing community, I can just be so fresh and like um, be my old term would have been top of my game, but I don't like that anymore. I just feel like I'm just more open and um, you know, it's, it's just, it feels great. And I, um, some days I burst open and I feel like I don't deserve it, but then I'm like, I feel like, oh, Scott, you're insulting the universe. So, um, this is what you would tell other people. You're insulting the universe if you feel like you can't, you don't deserve this. So it's been great. I'm, Iowa has been great. Um, the weather's getting better. And um, spring's here. And I'm just, um, yeah, if I want to just go in and take in a Hawkeye game and go to the football game, I can do it. 
if I want to have people over that I know, I can, I can do it. If I want to throw a little party, I can do it. If I want to travel, I can do it. Um, you know, and, and it's not about money and it's not about income. It's just about, you know, how do I want to live my life now? How do I want to be? Mm. Uh-huh. Very cool. Oh, wow. I have some things. Okay. <laughs> Four minutes? Yeah, sure. Oh, I'll have to watch this again. Okay, go. So, Scott, you uh, you had the inspiration to sell your business, which surprised me at the time that I heard it, just for a little bit. And then shortly after that, someone showed up who, I mean, you didn't even have to go through all of the prospectus and, and everything. Someone showed up to uh, actually partner with you for a bit partner so you could mentor them they're they're younger than you you could mentor them into this whole um way of doing business and they were really um excited about about web design and the whole tech part of it as well as you introduced them to this whole different way of of doing business that was just not even on the radar before this. And so that's been really, that's been feeding you, not just the, the money that comes from having um, sold half your business and, and then you worked it out so that gradually this other person would take over. And and so it happened in a way that was really easy for you to step away, but still offer mentoring, uh, delegate the, the stuff that you are not that interested in, and ex you actually expanded it a little bit. Um, and you were really clear about what was going to go with you when the time came and what was going to stay with this other person so that you got to keep the things that you we're building in the meantime and he got to keep what he bought into as well as whatever he built he she um, this other person so you got to introduce your existing clients to this new person and let them know that that they were um, getting on board with with the whole new way of doing things and it all just happened smoothly um, and effortlessly. And it was a win for everybody involved. So you've had time to travel and uh, explore and you've also had the safety net of still having your hand in the business and it's so it's made risk taking like there's no high stakes at all for for your experiments you just go ahead and and try something if you feel moved and um and like you said one time there you, you can't make a mistake you can't fail it's you've set it up you've designed it so that um it's a functioning laboratory for for new discoveries and for you to share not only to benefit yourself but for you to share it with other people you come in contact with and so people are learning by watching you and seeing that it doesn't actually take that much bravery it's just trusting so it it's created a whole different reception to your coaching because you're not telling people the usual take the leap and and um, build your courage muscle you're just your whole thing is trust and you're living it fun that brings out lots of ideas mm -hmm. 
good. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to influence you, but that just felt like, yeah, that just the partner thing. Yeah, well, you actually have like a channel into my future anyway, so it's kind of fun. <laughs> so you're you're tuned into it sometimes more than I am. So, <laughs> so uh, who am I to judge that? So, <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah. Who am I to hold it back? Right. Who am I to hold that back? <laughs> But it gives me some good ideas. Thank you. That's uh, amazing. Actually, there's there's more possibilities of how I can yeah. go about this, and it's exciting. It excites me. Good. Ah, oh, fun. Right. Yeah. It may not even be a partner. It may be some whole other thing that 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 word partner um, sparks a different idea. Maybe. Hmm. I'm really just trying to like, you know, get into a more freedom zone. So whatever mm -hmm. that happens that way, mm -hmm. whether it's selling the business or shaving half of it off or mentoring somebody to replace me, mm -hmm. I'm really just finding a way to be free. Yeah. Right. So, and be taken care of, you know. Yeah. So that's all the universe has to deliver. Yeah. Is told me. Universe mm -hmm. is happy to deliver freedom. Oh. oh, it feels good. You, you just, you have no idea like the, the way I felt when that, when it just started like unfolding, just yeah. conversation. it was just like my body just like felt so lit up and I was just like, okay, Chris, I just, there's no way I can't do something like this. Right. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, go. Cool. Okay. Um, so it's 2020. Um, I've been doing circles for a couple of years now, and they they've changed and expanded and and turned into different things that I had no idea where it was going, but I just let them lead me and um, have this total base of uh, income. And so um, I'm just, I have this sense of freedom that has brought about um, an ability to experiment just like just like we kind of were on the same path in that way um, I yeah I've been I've been meeting up with you on your travels and we do our thing which is so cool and so fun and we meet new people and and expand it a little further each time and um, We've been invited to some um, like meditation retreats, um, business retreats. And so we just meet up in these cool spots around the country and um, it's, it's good for everybody. Um, and we're really stepping into understanding that people actually love spending money <laughs> there's we we didn't get it because it's not our thing and so we we didn't we didn't always feel good about charging a lot but now we understand that people really feel good spending a, a what we would consider just a huge amount of money, especially on themselves. And because they're not just buying stuff, they're buying peace of mind, um, they're buying a future, they're uh, a, a change, they, they just feel good about it. And so we are really claiming that value that, we have and that we offer other people and that's been gifted to us 
I mean, it's not even like saying we're valuable. It's just we're acknowledging the gifts that are being given to us and the value of that. And that was like just a huge shift for me. And so the circles, I realized that the more money that comes in for the circles, the more I can give out to each person. So I started writing children's books with the stuff that the circles brought. Um, and so I just, you know, I got an, uh, an agent, a literary agent, and just kept delivering stories. And um, sometimes I would illustrate them and, and other times they'd have someone else in mind for the stories. And that was fine. And they always ended up being perfectly matched, the, the style of the illustration to the, the tone of the story. And so um, Augustina got, got published finally because of that whole flow of, of following the circles. And, um, and so as I started... I don't even like to say charging more. As I, as I started accepting more money for the circles and it just grew organically what people were offering and being able to um, communicate about their power more like in a, a more um, confident way. The, with each one, I got to see what they actually do for people. And so the confidence in me grew, the, the confidence in them grew to where they were, they just wanted it. They like even speaking to me, they would feel lighter and want to get the circles as quickly as they could because they could feel that there's something in there. And, and so I was able to give more to each person and spend more time with each circle and do some meditation on their behalf. You know, maybe they they just aren't as open as I am. And so as I meditated more and longer and became more skilled at receiving the um, messages, they just, you know, it was just more valuable for them. So, I'm really having, I'm really making a difference for people and, and I'm not, I'm just allowing the difference to be made through me. And that feels so good. And it's just changed my whole way of being in the world. Um, and I, I understand, I come across people who are just totally not open to it and that's completely okay. I, it doesn't mean anything other than they're not open to it. And, um, but that is becoming less and less and less. Like people who wouldn't normally be open to this kind of thing are just opening up and go, oh, okay, I guess. I, I, what have I got to lose? And then they get to experience um, this other realm that they never had an experience of before. So that feels really good to be expanding the number of people who are willing to acknowledge the power that's not in the old rules of how the world works. And that makes me feel really good about accepting anything that's there to feed that purpose and and i thought back to to when i spoke to paul the medium and he told me that you that yeah you are a guide for people coming into the new world and at the time i okay i don't know how that could be but all right and so the circles have presented that the the vehicle for that to happen um so your 
our our plan, our um, projects. They just we we have a Kai Lego and boom, we have a new project, and we just put it together. It's inspired and people show up and we do it and it's fun and it feeds us. It feeds them. Um, we're we're gaining some sort of following, but it's not really. It's not really like a tribe, but it's just people are are excited about what we do and they tell other people and they come and go and there's this constant flow um, because we don't need people to stay with us. They, we'd much rather have them just go off on their own and, and explore their own um, new ways of doing things and, and share that with other people. So, so there's this constant flow and, and we've had hundreds, we've had contacts with, contact with hundreds of people and, but it doesn't feel, it feels intimate. So that's really important to, to keep that intimacy and make sure each person is getting the value as much as they want to receive it. And, um, yeah, we're both, you and I are both just freer. We, um, my, my personal life is just completely new. My home is stable, calm. Um, travel is easy. The cats are taken care of. Joseph is doing well. Steve is doing his thing. Um, the transition out of the old way was just as, smooth as your transition into your new partnership with your business um yeah that's good 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 oh how does that feel yeah that's mm -hmm. that's mm. good good Mm -hmm. Right. So it's 2020 and Rita has been, I, I would, I like him to say that she's been very busy, but I know that she probably doesn't feel like it because she, she just meditates and she spends so much time like being in that meditative space, but it's, it's amazing because I, I really just share with other people that she's been so busy creating and being this portal for other people, just like her circles are a portal um, and she did mention that she's, people are recognizing that she is this whole mother force to getting people to, to this new, um, way of being in the universe. They can hear me talk cause I talk all the time and they know that I'm kind of the extrovert, even though really I'm an introvert, but when I'm show up, I have these times and moments where I'm extroverted and passionate, but they, they see Rita now as this very much this mothering force that really just gently guides folks into this new way of being in the world. The way that we really needed this back in 2018, this whole 2020 thing we always looked up to as like this pinnacle. And yeah, there are still crazy things in the world. There's always this messy stuff, but Rita, people recognizing that Rita is showing them this new way because it is so needed in 2020. It's um, this idea and attitude that, we are more than the universe shows us or tells us. And we know that. And so Rita is like helping folks to, to really tap into that through her circles, through the stories she writes through. I, I just picked up the coffee table book of her circles and it just, someone picked it up and took it away. It was just incredibly quick. You know, these things find their way. Um, I put things on my business card. They find their way. She has her circles on her business card. Um, they find a way the people want t-shirts of their circle. And so we help them find a way to do that. We're not making money off the t-shirts because it's just kind of like, yeah, it's the one benefit. You can make a t-shirt, go ahead. Um, you know, but we, we may like start doing that. You know, if we can go to shows together and meditations together, people are wanting to spend money and they'll spend money on the t-shirts. They'll spend money on cards. They'll spend money on another circle. They'll spend money to help say, read us come and, and um, 
and create circles for us and let us watch you at these conventions and, and meditation conventions and even in odd places. Come be our artist guest of honor. Come to our board meeting and tell us uh, from an artist's heart what, what, how we can get quiet and really tap into these things. Um, so it, it's this evolution that people are really searching for. And, um, and just the story that Rita has of something simple as, as a meditation circle and how that you can tap into whatever is so very simple for you that holds meaning. It can be a cooking, it can be drawing, it can be a circle, it can be painting, it can be singing, whatever that real simple act of kindness and gentleness that just comes through to you from the universe can expand into things that you never imagined. And it can actually support you and give you income. It's not necessarily like selling, it's just because it just arrives. And people are, love that idea to be surprised for, by the universe, be surprised. And they send her stories back that are circles, like some circles speak to them or they come to their dreams. And so there's all this content that comes back um, from her patrons. And so it's, it's just, the circles are speaking and they speak back. And so we put it on her website, we put it in our communities, we put it in the things that we do collaboratively. And of course it just, you know, it's like this whole, um, we don't have to make the effort. It's, it's, it's there and we just have to pay attention and show up. Yeah. I like that. I, I envisioned doing like circle demonstrations. Everybody's quiet. There's no like, and this is how you do the oil pastels and this is how this works. And this is what's coming through. No, we're all meditating while we watch the circle come into being and then find out what they, what came through for them. Mm. 